Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today we're gonna cover the Alpida Memory BIOS mod for the RX470 and the RX480. The first step you need to do is know your memory type and you'll need to download a little program for that. It's called Tech Power Up GPU-Z and you should install it and launch it and your memory type should say GDDR5 Alpida as shown in the picture here and if you don't have that if you have a Hynix or Samsung, I will have to redirect you to one of these two videos so you can go ahead and follow that guide. On step two, you need to make sure that your computer is off before performing this, but you will need to go ahead and put the switch on the front of the card. It's a small button on the card if you don't know that, and you need to switch it to the side where the power supply goes into the card. So now let's move on to step three. Backing up your BIOS is really important in modding your card because when you fail modding your card or you uh, did something wrong, you will have to go back to your original ROM file. So what you have to do is go to TechPowerUp GPU-Z again and click the save to file and call it rx470 original.rom or rx480 original.rom and save it somewhere you will remember. And one small note for backing up your BIOS is if you ever forgot to do your original ROM backup and you think like damn I did something wrong my card is not working you can always go to this website here I'll show a link somewhere and you can find your original BIOS in the database over there. So next up we will have to go ahead and download the modded BIOS ROMs for the 4GB cards. Unfortunately I don't have the Alpida BIOS mods for the 8GB cards yet but we'll have to wait for that and I will put them in the description as fast as I can. So just download the ROM and put it somewhere you remember. Now we are going to move on to step 5, extracting ADI flash. ADI flash will load the modded BIOS into your GPU or your original if you want to turn it back to an old card and sell it but we need ADI flash anyway so you can download it here or in the description below and extract it to your C drive just in the main drive and call a folder ADI flash and put all the files into it and you're done with step 5. Now we are on the final step we'll have to go ahead and go to the map of ADI WinFlash that you just created in your C drive Open adiwinflash.exe as an administrator, select the GPU you want to flash. I would recommend also uh, flashing card by card so you don't have to go ahead and uh, search which one you wanted to flash or which one you already did and that makes it much more simple. So what you have to do is load image when you selected the correct GPU and select the modded uh, BIOS that you just downloaded and put somewhere that you remembered and hit program and it will start programming. You will need to restart your system and you will see an increase of hash rate of course after you've done that but for now I just go ahead and talk you through because otherwise you have to go back to this video to see the final result. So what what's going on with the uh, Alpida BIOS? This one is very very good to be honest it's one of the best cards that are out because it's really simple to mod these because you don't have to do it manually and also people are wanting to mine Zcash and Alpida memory for some reason does way better on hashing with Zcash than Hynix or Samsung so it's a big advantage to have an Alpida card but soon enough I will also make a video on how to see which memory type is inside the box because I have confirmed um, serial numbers so that's gonna be very cool so hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one